Hi Pisces, it's your name Michelle, coming to you from the Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist, my channel here on YouTube. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, all that good stuff, because I really appreciate it. I'm just a girl just starting out. Thank you so, 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 so much. So, 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 so much. This uh, spirit is about to come through. All right, y'all. All right, we're going to get into the reading for, 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 for Pisces, 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 December 2015. December 2015. I actually chuckled for y'all before I started. I started chuckling because. Okay, Pisces, get out of your head. You got too much stuff going on. I get, I get that get out of your head from Marie Moore. What's up to Marie Moore? I think she's a Pisces. That's so funny that I said it on this video. <laughs> but I watch her quite a bit. I watch her weekly readings and stuff. Good chick. I like her spirit. Um, anyway, the underline of the reading is, is, is the Eight of Swords, which means that there's a lot of stuff going on that don't need to be going on, that you got a lot of stuff up in your head that is is just stuff that you're making up to torment the hell out of yourself and drive yourself crazy stop doing just stop thinking all the bad stuff the bad times the bad past because you're scared something's gonna happen um uh, what i feel that's going on with you now is a renewal of love and pleasure and joy and all that other good stuff and also there's a new opportunity for finance a new opportunity coming in for money or there's new money being made in general which is all, which is both a good thing. Good thing, good thing. Okay. Um, um, the first week was, had a lot of fast energy from what it says here. A lot of fast energy for the first week of December that just passed. We're now going on the second week and then there's two more weeks to go after that. But I feel like and that energy is pushing forward towards you. Um, and this week being, uh, for some of you was, Some of you is organized religion, like you're moving towards uh, getting back into church, but I guess that has to do with the holidays, like, you know, you know, let me hurry up and go over here <laughs> and say my confessions before the new year, get that whole thing situated. I feel like a lot of you uh, um, are coming into your own as far as, uh, oh, I don't know what this is, I guess this is teaching. Because the energy is pushing towards the religion, like, okay, we're going to go ahead and do this. Like, I see Christmas trees and, like, a Catholic church, so I feel like we're hurrying up. And we're getting over to to do the whole holiday thing with the religion. And now I see the Hanukkah does candles and, and things like that. So everybody will be pushing towards religion the second week. The second week, you're like, okay, let's do this whole. I don't know if Hanukkah starts that second week. That might be it. <laughs> if Hanukkah's getting ready to start, everybody's rushing, trying to get that together and make sure that's all right. And I don't know if it's Hanukkah's early or late this year, but that's what I, that's the feeling that I have. Let's get it together. <laughs> you know, let's do it. I just heard matzah. Let's get the matzah and all that other stuff. And let's, and, and that's the second week, okay? The third week, we're going through some things about the past situations, past relationships, past issues. Um... You also can be rushing towards a job teaching, or there's something to do with teaching. Also, a situation resurfacing. I have the devil card, but usually that's about addiction and things like that. But sometimes there's addictive relationship, people that you just can't let go that are abusive. But also, as you abusing certain substances, you know, alcohol, drugs, whatever. Um, the third week in this month, you have a recurrence of that. Or either you're back around people, maybe just for the holidays, that are abusive and aggressive towards you. 
and you keep going back and going to the house and going and doing the family thing to do, the right thing to do when you really know that it isn't right for you and your spirit and for your children and for your family. And instead of disconnecting, I see like this big family gathering and every year you go to the big family gathering and you get beat up emotionally, you know, by people who are more insecure than you are and don't have as much to do that, but you get caught up in that abusive situation every year and it's just once a year and then you takes you half the year to recover from all the fucking bad shit that they said oh, i'm sorry for my cursing but that's how they bring it out okay so my advice to you is just to stay the hell away from that why are you gonna go and get beat up every year for what the fuck for <laughs> skip it okay because it's like okay i want to do the right thing now i see the wind is it I want to do the right thing. I want to go and and do what everybody else does and be with family and do that family thing. But every year something happens and I get fucked over. So why the hell am I going? Because the, the uh, organized religion car right next to me shows me that the, 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 these people they 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 use religion and they relude as a cover, right? But in reality, they're not very religious at all. They're just assholes. They use religion as a way to be abusive, and that's not cool. That's not cool. In the fourth week, you're taking off. You're taking off running, 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 running. You can full stream ahead. You know where you want to go and what you want to do in this new year. You ready for it. This is where I want to go. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. This is who I want to be with. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is how it's doing. This is what we're going to do. This is where we're going to go. And this is how it's going to be. <laughs> Which is something strong for Pisces. But it's Pisces getting that mole, honey, in their neck. And then that's all she wrote. And this Pisces here is not taking it this, not this year. We are on our way out. But these cards are warning you that if you think that Christmas celebration is going to be any different than any other year, then you need to. Why put your family and stuff through that? Kids get feelings hurt. And mommy, she, this, and they won't let me play with that. They won't let us play. Da, da, da. All this crazy stuff that they let the, you know, a manipulative abuse of craziness. <laughs> they keep, they bore me back to that. Because they want y'all to seriously understand that that is just a waste of energy. Like, have your Christmas at home with you and your family. Go have Christmas with somebody that cares about you and you care about them and y'all going to have a real good time. Why are you going to spend time with people that don't, 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 don't do nothing but try to hurt you? What's the point in that? What's the point in that? You know? Sorry, that's my little brother. I'm like, what? <laughs> he keeps he texts me doing the other video too. Okay. And so, like I said, the last week of the month, you like <sighs> And with a force too, like I'm out. Like you but it's full stream ahead. Like whatever you've been having on your mind, your thoughts in your mind to do, to get rid of, to be on, you're moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Your plans, you're putting them in play. Right? See, at the end of the week, sound and finance, but walking away. That's how the cards are. Got you walking away emotionally this month, right? You sound and finance, you're okay. You sound financially, but you're walking away from emotional baggage. You're tired of the abuse of nature. And this right here is right under the devil card. It's just like this on top. Walk away from that crap. With this card. It's right next to the devil card. Run away. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's time for you to move on and move forward and move past all of the spices because it's not worth them anymore. That's it. Hi, my name is Michelle. Thank you for joining me here at Chronicles of the Hoodoo Spiritualist. Um, if you want a private reading, you can reach me at Renee Michelle 1975 at gmail.com. Also, if you want to know more about me and what I do, you can um, visit my uh, blog at hoodoospiritualist.tumblr.com. Thank you.
Happy holidays. Ashe. Stay blessed.